Hi, Jason. How's it going? <laughs> Fine, how are good, you? Good. <laughs> okay, um, I think your album starts uh, with your former band. Mm -hmm. Can we say that? Uh, Dermond Edison? Dermond Edison, yeah. Dermond Edison. Um, uh, you, well, eventually you quit that band. Um, yeah, well, why did it end? The first um, place? I think the, the four of us kind of grew up together and uh, played music um, for a really long time. And I think uh, at the end of the day, we just sort of uh, ran out of things to do together for the moment. And uh, we sort of wanted to do some different things. And uh, it, was, it was difficult figuring that out um, because you're friends and, and uh, you don't want to stop playing music together. I didn't per se, but, and, and none of us did, but we just had different things going. And I think we just needed to split up and, and get those things kind of out, you know. And, and so I left and they stayed and it, it's it ended up working beautifully now, but um, for everybody, but uh, it was yeah, it was a difficult time. Yeah, but can you say like it was it was also musical differences? Uh? Yeah, that's that that's what I'm kind of talking about. I yeah, mean, yeah. it's it's uh, we wanted to be doing different things and uh, in, in well, music. What was that difference? Uh, um, oh. Well, we were in a band together and we were kind of playing music that started to sound uninteresting to all of us for different reasons and. Uh, they were my songs, and they were starting to kind of bore all of us, I think, including me. And uh, instead of, but I, but I, I wasn't going to make the transition very easily from being the, the principal songwriter in a band to to being in the same band to being a, not a songwriter. So I, I decided that it would be best for me to just be out on my own to give myself some time. And uh, they stayed together and formed a new band and and. Uh, they're still in North Carolina and, and doing really, really well. And I'm. What kind of music do they play now? It's uh, it's really rad. It's like uh, kind of like Appalachian avant-garde music. Uh, it's like very, it's like bluegrass influenced, but it's very smart. And they're top top class musicians, and they're just like they're doing some really some of the best stuff I've heard recently. Okay. But okay, but um, yeah. You had to leave? Yeah, I, I left um, and I, I sort of didn't have anywhere to go, so I, I went to uh, my father's like a hunting lodge in, in Wisconsin. And, uh, he has a hunting lodge. He has a hunting yeah. lodge in, in northwestern Wisconsin, and I went up there to just sort of be. And I uh, thought I'd maybe work on music, but when I got there, I just sort of was lazy and I didn't do anything and sort of just sat and uh, sort of, I don't know, just kind of breathed in and breathed out for a couple of weeks, and um, I, I really had no intention of making a record. But in the, in the end, that's what happened. Yeah, because um, the story is uh, you uh, you uh, started to go in a in a remote cabin, live there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean uh, that that's that's exactly kind of what I did for like three months, and, and I sort of lived there and kind of worked around the cabin outside and things, and I just kind of worked on the music as well. Yeah, but when you when you uh, got in there, what you, what, what were your expectations? What, why did you do that? Uh, I just I needed I needed to kind of spend time alone and. Uh, um, why was that? You needed well, to sort I, things out. Or? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I needed to just have to have time to sort things out and and uh, just have just to get away from a lot of things that had been bothering me or or that had had uh, I. Had, been so confused about and I just needed to be away from people so that I would have the space to do that and I didn't see anybody I didn't talk to anybody and it was really uh, really good because I was able to think about so many things and have all the time and, and physical space because it's up in the middle of nowhere you know to do that 